Hey everybody, welcome back to the shop. Ten more minutes. Thunder Chief building action. Okay, people, here it is. A little after ten. I've got two coats of resin on this. And it's still pretty thin. Um, I'm just going to have to uh, do it all night or <laughs> I'm going to put another coat on. It's just now ready. Stuff's just slow going in this cooler weather. It's just now ready. That's two coats. And um, if I do one now, that's three. Get up at four. That'll make four coats. That'll be about right. Then when I get up at six, I can put the cloth on it. Okay. Yeah, no. Four would be eight. Eight in the morning, I can get up and put the cloth on it. That'll work. Leave the heater off in the shop tonight. It slows this drying time down just a little bit. We gotta mix us up some resin. But I promised y'all some Bob TV at the Survivor tonight. Well, I tell you what. <laughs> I think they voted out the wrong chick. I tell you what, that black woman that was stealing food. Oh, yeah, she'd have been gone. No one even wrote down her name. They're just letting her run things. Up 500 grams. That's just what I need for one coat on both wings. I'm not putting this on real heavy, just thin coats. 625, 625, 623, 25, just thin coats, and sharp pencil, wanted to know what direction to mix your epoxy. I'm going to tell you what, Paul, no wonder butts don't let you stir epoxy. You always stir clockwise. <laughs> you always stir clockwise, never counterclockwise. If, I'll tell you something. If you stir counterclockwise, it means you're crazy. <laughs> You always stir clockwise. No wonder butts don't let you mix up. You always got to stop and scrape the sides and stir with a upward swoosh. You see how I'm kicking that up? That keeps that rolling action in that cup, see? Down to up, down to up. And you got to bring up that stuff from the bottom and mix it with the top. It ain't just a round swirl. <laughs> Hit the sides and the bottom again and stir returning up. You know what I think my biggest fear is? Forgetting to put hardener in a batch of epoxy. 
in the middle of a layup like this. Oh, wouldn't that be the pits? Oh, you'd have a mess on your hands. That would be the pits. Oh, it would be a mess. <coughs> but probably all this needs is like this one coat, but I ain't gonna get up four in the morning and put a cloth on. I'll get up at four and smear another coat of resin. That ain't so bad, but to work for a couple hours at four in the morning. I don't want to do that. <laughs> so it'll just be nice and thick by morning. And bam, tomorrow, guess what, people? My wing molds will be done. Well, I can't lay up a set, a set of wings till I have the gear. So the pressure's on there, sharp pencil. <laughs> we need landing gear. Don't make me have to send these boys after you. My threads are going on and laying down nice. This is going to be in one nice mold right here. Going to put out lots of Thunder Chief wings for years to come. That's the plan. And this will be airtight and all that white stuff was not, believe it or not, was not airtight. Butch tried to pull a vacuum on the bomber wings and had to put a roofing sealer on the outside of the mold because he couldn't get them to pull a vacuum. Maybe that was the trouble I was having when I was trying to bag, but these wings will Molds will definitely be airtight. I'm going to tell you right now, it ain't an air bubble one in that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because uh, using that phone, we're going to have to vacuum bag that, people. So it's time to learn, you know what I mean? We can do it. We can do it. Because these wings are going to make this airplane. I'm telling you guys that right now. The wings make the airplane. We got a battle set of wings. 
We got a bad old airplane. That's just how that works. 